Good, good, good. Crap. First time I ever got them all out. Right. So there's actually ten possibilities. Mm -hmm. That you've three good or two bad. Huh? That's really good. Good. Ah, crap. crap. <laughs> <laughs> I've already got the first one. <laughs> so there are ten. Now the problem is where the hell do you come up like you don't want to be doing that in the exam. So what you do is you say from the five <coughs> say there's just five here ready to go good or bad. What you have is from the five you need to choose two of them to go bad. So how many ways from five can you choose two? And where do you find such a thing? Calculator. Calculator. Yeah. Five choose two. Or five choose three, same thing. Choosing two to be bad is the same as choosing three to be good. So there's uh, 10 different ways actually of doing it. One plus the nine. And they're mutually exclusive. You can't have this and this at the same time. You can't have the first resistor being bad and good at the same time. So they're all ors, and the ors mean add. So you're going to have this plus this plus this plus this plus this 10 times, 10 times this, and you get this number here. So with that problem, what is the probability that you have um, three good resistors uh, is 0.2. That's not three or more, it's exactly three. So you have to do point A, point A, point A, point two, two once. Yeah, and, and then, then you multiply it by the number of passing that. This is going to be a formula on your tables when we're finished with it. Okay, so this, uh, now kind of changing very slightly, um, how we can set this up is we can say, okay, we're putting them all on trial. What's going on with you? What's or rather here? What's going on with you? 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 Where things are either good or bad, up or down, and the probability of being good of it being a success is the same every single time. And when you add up how many good things you have, um, that's called a binomial, um, or what is that called? That's called a binomial uh, random variable, and the individual ones are called Bernoulli trials. So there's two possibilities, good, bad, and the probability of good is the same every time. Well, we use language success. So what we're going to see is probability of success is 0.8. This is on your calculator, and that is such that this is said to have a binomial distribution. The number of mature plants, the number of good resistors out of a number of them on trial is said to be a binomial random variable. Uh, so setting them up, consider random variable two outcomes, success or failure, suppose probability of success is P. If the probability of success is P, what's the probability of failure? One minus P. One minus P, there it is. And uh, such a random variable is a Bernoulli trial. And usually you say one for success, zero for failure, add these up. And that's uh, what you call a binomial random variable. So add them up, this would be one, 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 zero, zero. So you get 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3 plus 0 plus 0, you get 3. What's the probability that's equal to 3? So examples of these, flip a coin. I'll break in a second. So these would be examples of things. So flip a coin, success defined as a head. Probability of success is a half, two outcomes, head to tail. Roll of a dice with success defined as a 6. You either get a 6 or you don't get a 6. Uh, what's the probability of rolling a 6? What's the probability of rolling a, um, a 1? One six. So if this is probably <coughs> rolling a six, what's the probability of not rolling a six? One minus. One minus, yeah. Um, another uh, one would be a ran uh, take a random deck from a deck of cards with success defined as an ace, probably success one out of 13. Um, door to door sales approach, success is a sale, one of 15. Um, the time spent by a random shopper in a shopping queue with success being defined as serving less than two minutes. Maybe point eight. And just so you understand, success doesn't have to be a good thing. So T be the number of people a random uh, Irish male murders with success defined as having murdered someone. So either murdered someone or you didn't. And probably the success maybe something like that. So what we're going to do on the next page is what happens when you do a load of these in a row and you add the answers together.
and that will be a binomial distribution and it will be done mostly with a formula. We'll be using lots of R's, lots of knots. So uh, we might have a break there till 25 to 9. Thank you.